Hey everyone, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel and let's go ahead and talk about Reacher Season 1 on Amazon Prime. Of course, this was basically within a few days from the from the series beginning was picked up for a second season, which is just a fantastic thing. Now, Tom Cruise, of course, appeared in two Jack Reacher films. And yes, I'm, you know, I'm a Tom Cruise fan, but I did enjoy Alan Richson, who does play Reacher in this series. I kind of enjoyed his portrayal just a little bit more. I think because, you know, I've never read any of the Jack Reacher novels. But from what I've, you know, heard about the character in novel form, Alan Richson's character, kind of his portrayal, and, you know, he's a, he's a bigger guy, a lot bigger guy than Tom Cruise. And he seems like he fits that mold of what they were going for in the novels. So I think in that sense, it definitely works. I've heard some people say Alan Richson, you know, he seems a little robotic with the way he, you know, he's a military guy and he plays it straightforward military style in the show, in the series. And I think it was great. He did a great job. And, you know, little, I didn't even, I had not even realized because I knew Alan Richson, you know, he was, you know, Aquaman in Smallville. He was also, um, he was also Hawk in Hawk and Dove. In, teen, in the Teen Titans series. And it didn't real. I forgot though that he had done motion capture for the last live action TMNT movies that had come out. He was the live action motion capture for, for Raphael. So, you know, I, I do know of his work. Just some of them I wasn't really from, you know, I wasn't aware of. But he did a really good job. The detective in this as well that he meets up with his name is Finley he's played I can't I can't think of the actor's name but he was you recognize him from I Zombie which is another really good series that was on CW but I think for me this series or you know and I'm I'm hoping that the seasons as they go on kind of stick with this formula it has a small town feel you know Tom Cruise his versions of Reacher they kind of like expand you know, and they this, they seem big. They seem grand, and there's nothing wrong with that. They absolutely did nothing wrong with that. But what worked for me and with this was it just kept like a small town feel. You know, taking place I think, believe it was in Georgia, and you know, it does it does spread out to some other states throughout the season, but for the most part, it stays contained with a small town feel. When Reacher shows up in this town, and there are a lot of corrupt things going on. You almost get, and I was just thinking about this now, but you almost get this Incredible Hulk kind of feel. Now, obviously, you know, not just because Alan Richardson is a lot bigger guy you know, than Tom Cruise, but he's kind of like a drifter, like like a, like a Bruce Banner, you know, going through, you know, town to town. And that's kind of, but obviously not changing green, becoming green and turning into the Hulk. But it definitely, just thinking about it, it does kind of have that, you know, that drifter kind of feel to it. But it was just a really solid season. Really enjoyed it quite a bit. Um, you know, the, the main actress, our main lead actress in the show, really good. She was definitely a standout throughout the season. The chemistry between her and Alan Richson was really, really good. And, you know, I would say for anybody who's kind of like on the fence, because when I saw the trailer for this originally, I was intrigued. I was interested. Why? Because I did like the Tom Cruise films. So I was definitely interested in seeing where they were going to take this, you know, with the series. And I was I was pleasantly surprised. I figured, you know what, it's probably going to be good at best. But this was just more than good. This was great. It was a great first season for Reacher. And I think mostly, you know, like I said, with the trailer, it definitely it'll, it piqued my interest. But anybody who maybe didn't pique interest and they were just like, oh, you know, casually just going to check it out. One episode, I will guarantee you, you watch one episode and you will be hooked. You will absolutely be hooked wanting to see where this goes. And I just, I enjoyed the characters. I mean, when you have the villains, the you know, the main baddies on screen, these guys are bad news and they are scumbags. And you can't wait to see them be punished for the things that they have done. But overall, I thought Alan Richardson did a really good job. He really... He played the character, like I said, from what I've been, you know, from what I've seen, you know, over the years, of, you know, talking about when people have talked about Reacher, you know, how he's supposed to look, how he's supposed to act. He definitely fits the mold and definitely, you know, just the, uh, just the way he, his mannerisms, his movement, everything just kind of fits that style 
for what this character is supposed to be. So I would definitely highly recommend check out Reacher on Amazon Prime. I don't think you're going to be disappointed. If you like action, if you like, you know, you know, suspense and thrillers and and this thing can be there are some definitely some pretty violent scenes in this too. I was I was really surprised by that. But definitely go check out Reacher. I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Like, subscribe and comment if you get a chance and I will catch you in another episode. Take care.